everybody. Welcome to another episode of Fultron in Nashville. Just got off the phone with uh, my health insurance agent. So, Obamacare, right? That's happening. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get in a fight with anybody about Obamacare. I'm just saying, for me and where I'm at, it's a hassle. There's some good things about it. The maternity thing is nice. There's a lot more things included. Uh, my wife and I both had, um, what do they call them? Ratings, something ratings. So our premiums were a little high. And our deductible was high too. The deductible went down, which is good. The premium went up a little bit. Uh, but we got a lot more things included, so it kind of evens out and we're probably getting a better deal. But it's just kind of like, I don't know. I know there's a lot of people that are getting a bum deal with this Obamacare thing and that makes me sad. And it's probably gonna go up again next year because uh, all the uh, health insurance companies are going broke. So, thanks Obama. It's not his fault. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit. It's a little bit his fault. But enough about that. That's that. That's no fun to talk about. So, my wife and I went on this diet plan. Oh man, she's kicking butt at it. She's doing so good. She's lost like 50 pounds um, in the last year. I believe that is correct. I think. I think that's what she said. Like 50 pounds uh, in, in a year. Crazy. I've lost uh, 46 and a half pounds. It's nuts. My butt is gone disintegrated off my body. I have zero butt. That was like my one thing. I'm chubby, but I got a nice butt. Like you can't complain about having a nice butt. A lot of people don't have nice butts and I had a nice one. Now it's gone. I don't have a nice butt anymore. It is literally like my back just goes into my legs. Like I'm finding that it's really hard to sit in certain chairs if they don't have enough padding. And the other day, my team leader ran up behind me and like slapped me on the butt like really hard at work. And it, it hit my pelvic bone. It hurt, like he bruised my bone. I have no butt cheeks anymore. It's just back, thigh, back to thigh. That's it, that's all there is. Some good things that have come out of it. I get to buy clothes that, that look a little nicer. Although I bought these pants at H&M. Let me see if I can, you see that? Okay, that's like literally skinny jeans like on my leg. You can't get any skinnier than that right there. I mean, that's like borderline jeggings. I'm wondering, maybe I got them a little too, a little too tight, a little bit, maybe. Like, are your legs supposed to get that cold? Because blood circulate, I don't know. My wife liked them, and that's the test. If the wife likes the pants, you buy the pants. It's crazy how much, different you feel and how like your tastes have changed like don't get me wrong I love a good hamburger and I love me some pizza but now I also love me a good chicken salad here's the thing I feel great after I eat a salad like it used to be when I ate I would just be like oh my god I don't think I don't think I can eat anymore and now I eat and I'm like I'm good um, it hasn't really fixed any of my previous health issues that I've talked about before, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm going a different route. I'm going more the spiritual, emotional route for that, because it is tied into stress, stress and anxiety, and I've talked about how I deal with stress and anxiety. You guys probably saw the orange peeling episode last week. I have a lot of stress and anxiety, but I'm going to some counseling, trying to deal with that, try and get to the bottom of that. Um, no shame in going to counseling, right? 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 But yeah, so that's good. It's good to get counseling. And I know that it's it's awkward and it's hard. Um, and it can be kind of like, there's, there's shame mixed in with that and there shouldn't be. Because here's something I'm learning. I'm about to turn 30 and I've heard that when you turn 30, you kind of start to get over yourself and you start to learn what's important in life. Because you're, you're getting older, you're out of your 20s and you're starting to kind of get this idea of like, hey, life is hard and I gotta work hard at it. I'm learning that nobody's perfect. And I know you hear that like a million times a day. Nobody's perfect. Okay, but how much perfection do you expect out of yourself? Like just ask yourself that question. And here's another question brought to you by my former boss in California. She told me this. Would you treat other people the way that you treat yourself? No, you would never in a million years. You look at yourself in the mirror and the thoughts that go through your head 
Would you ever say that to another person? No, never. So we gotta give ourselves a little, a little grace here because nobody's perfect, we've all got problems. I've got a lot of baggage, I've got tons of baggage, so much baggage. So much baggage I have to fly Southwest because if I fly anywhere else, they charge me. That was a joke. But I do have a lot of baggage. I'm pretty screwed up. And you're screwed up too. You're a mess. You're an absolute mess, just like me. It's fantastic. You should not have to try to be perfect. There's just, you'll wear yourself out and you'll just fall over, keel over dead, and your whole life will just be wasted trying to be perfect. You'll never succeed at it. Instead, embrace the things that make life hard for you and go head on with them and try to fix them. And don't feel ashamed and don't feel judged. Just go for it. So that's why I'm going to counseling because it's a good thing to do. I, even if you think you're doing great, you should go get some counseling because you'll find out that you're screwed up. If you go to counseling, you'll find out that you're a mess. But the good thing is that you'll grow from it. Everything that we face in life, we face to make us better. That's what I believe. In the Bible, in James, it says, count it all joy when you go through suffering. That's a summary, but you know, basically, you need to, you need to count it as joy. There's, there's going to be joy through this, and there's going to be a good ending to this. Everything that we go through that is hard makes us better. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger, yo. Just like Abraham Lincoln. That's what he does, Abraham Lincoln, right? Or Kelly Clarkson, one of the two. But you know what, guys? I know this is a little more serious, but it's important to take time from being silly and just say, you know what, guys? We're all a bunch of messed up wackos. And that's great. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Fultron in Nashville. You guys are awesome. Thank you that 70 people have now subscribed to my channel. 70! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. 70 people have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And uh, I can't wait till we get to 100. I'm so excited. It's gonna be awesome, and I am loving making these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a like, it helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys next time on Fultron in Nashville. Fultron, out. We're gonna go by Fultron, because I think that's an awesome name. <laughs> Give it up, buddy. There we go. Bro, that dude was on my oh face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow, what the dude? What the <laughs> Come on! Are you for real? The reason I have a spirit animal is because I was never allowed to have pets. It's contest time. If your name is Ben Miller and you're a subscriber to my channel, I just drew your name and you just won a prize.